doing like a... Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, it's just, if someone's here and they're, dri they're driving into me like that, I might just stuff their elbow here and I just... Right? And just start putting pressure on it. And people are just like, ow. Yeah. Or I'll, or I'll go here or I'll, I'll even go here. And then, you know, yeah. just start pushing like... So if someone's going to drive into me and drive into me, you know, or if you're going to drive into me, I'm going to lose it, right? Well, yeah. and, and kind of hide it. I mean, that's Tanner's thing for me recently. He was like, grab here. Watch what happens. You're going to do what? I didn't, I didn't start in my head. Yeah. What do most people do? I know they toss it And what else do they do? They're trying to get rid of it. Oh, well, yeah, they lose their fucking home. Yeah. No, I don't even do right? that. Yeah. So I, I already know how to do that. So like here, but, yeah. yeah, so so I come up here and someone doesn't like, bam. Good try. I'm already in. Yeah. And it's like it's so easy. Yeah. It's stupid. Yeah. You know? So it's kinda like uh you're gonna fight, you're gonna push on this because you're gonna, you know, get that out. Right. And it's like, okay, you know, now what are you gonna do? You're gonna drive it forward, okay. So now you know, same thing, sit my games. It's like, so I, I think the best way to deal with someone, you know, muscling into that is just to, um, you know, make it. Yeah. Like what, what, what I actually I try to do is uh, try to do this, not thinking, I know this, this initial isn't going to work, but you're digging those elbows in it. Yeah. Know, right? So I kind of go for these elbows and your position is to bring the posture up. And that's when I start yeah. grabbing this. Yeah, because I have to do this. But well, I don't. I don't worry about too much about doing like one arm. I don't get over this. Once you, if I do this, you're gonna posture my my short legs. Don't give me yeah. the four to the ankle crap. Well, and also, um, the uh, um, this like one arm, um, like hip bump sweep. Yeah, I've been watching people do. So, I do flower sweep. You know, here or here, and I'm trying to get under. Yeah. Dude, I'm watching guys basically just grab this, or drag, I've been pull doing it over, and just and yeah. just taking people over. Yeah, you know, or or grab here, you know, and just. <laughs> I mean, even if you're even if you're here, you know, and you want to guard that, it's like fine. It's giving me that. Yeah. You know, and I can just pull you up and pull you over me. Yeah. So I'm just watching stuff that's like really basic. And I'll do that. I know I do it in the heat, but I'll try to get rid of that. I call it rid of it. Yeah, I feel like the more I'm paying attention in the guard, like I feel like I'm just getting, I'm just getting better at it, like like exponentially better, because you know the, the one thing that is if it goes fast and someone like Tanner will right away like split open boom, stand, I'm like whoa, that that like. You know, that was faster than I had anticipated. His, his first three steps are just initial, like A, B, C. They're not just, they're just one A, B, C. Right, <laughs> right. It's like, yeah, it's like one sequence. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, maybe there's a little bit of Dante Schoen's buddy that he knows what to do or something. No, you know, I think, a little um, bit of pride or something. No, no, I, I know what you're saying, but no, I don't know. I, I don't think it is that. I think it's, unfortunately, where he came up. It wasn't, um, they didn't really teach them to go to other gyms. So their, their, the etiquette was kind of limited because people didn't know that. Yeah. And I, I don't make excuses, it's just that I know where I prefer to, to get my instructions from. You know, and like, whatever's going on at that gym now. Like, but I don't think, a lot, I see a lot of the students that come, come out of there sometimes miss some of the fundamentals. Or even now with my kids at, at my, my son's school, there's a few things that the brow belt, because the guy who owns the, runs the gym is a, a later 20s brow belt. There's something he doesn't know because he's only been under one black belt his whole, you know, since he was a child. Yeah. Now he's 28, 29. And uh, they're like things like etiquette, like the things that we learned here. Don't cross your arm. Don't uh, don't put your hands on your hips, because that's what Silvio, Master Silvio says. So I say, hey, if you do go to the gym, this might be a thing. I don't want you 10 year olds crossing your forearms when you're standing in line. Put right. your hands on your belt, put your hands, you know, over your over your bellies. 
something like this, but this and this, I don't want to see that because I don't want you to go to another gym representing us. And then the, the, the head instructor's like, yeah, I didn't even know that. I, said, I didn't know that either. <laughs> I didn't, I'm just sharing that because I don't want us to look that. You know? yeah. My son even did the same thing. He's like, Dad, I've never heard that. I go, well, it's a thing. So if it's a thing here and it's a thing in Brazil, let's just learn. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't change what was, anything. What was it? The what? So whenever you have a, whenever you're with the master so that it has a seminar, doing this. Oh. Or while he's talking, doing this. Yeah. It's yeah, just habit. Yeah, it's a kind of like being ready, yeah. ready position. So my son used to make fun of me when I started to do the class because I sit like this, but that's just military stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm law enforcement, I'm grabbing the belt. Yeah. You know, but. Yeah. Um. I, I can't, I don't feel comfortable rolling yet because I don't, I don't think I can gauge myself as far as once yeah. you start going. But I'm good with drilling if you don't mind. I don't think anybody else is going to show up. Yeah. Um, my biggest concern is falling on this side or getting it fried up. Yeah. Because uh, my ego sometimes forgets. This is, I think, how I injured it. Brandon, I think, coming up with his hips and just prying it up and made it worse than a tear that already existed. Or it could have been Americana from an open matter. This younger 25 year old jacket, ego. Got a real good one, and I think maybe I just let it get too far. Mm. I don't blame other people. I'm just saying, yeah. I think that's why it was a tear. It was torn right in the middle, right over my shoulder. And the tendon basically comes up top of the machine, kind of goes there. So I made a hole. So, yeah. I don't feel any pain. It's just yeah. So I'm just letting you know. Yeah, I'll do it. And I do. Um, anything you want to work on, or anything? Uh, is there Is there a something that's better for you than not, like not really whether it's top or bottom or? Not really, the thing is uh, getting pin here is, is where it's probably just gonna be, I'll tap, I'll let you know, yeah, hey, yeah. your position. Uh, no, I'll just let you know, I'll okay. let you know. I'm uh, worried about it. No, I mean, have you been to any of the classes? Did, did you go Monday and see what they were doing? Mm -hmm. no. uh, I heard there was a bat, they were doing bat, they were doing, oh, they were doing legs. They are doing legs. I mean, I know the I know the nogi class, the six a.m. is. Yeah, they're doing nogi and legs. It's all there. Okay. Um, I don't know if I can say I know because I've been working a lot. Uh, yeah, I mean, why don't you why don't you stand top, and we'll go back to the back, and I'll just let you work a little bit and be a nice little warm up. All right. <sighs> <laughs> the over the left over your shoulder is where I'm going to have to be careful you didn't do anything okay. it's all on me I, I was hesitant I was like okay I felt comfortable here
Two hours a day to nothing. Oh, I know. I was trying to try the crucifix, but you're out. <laughs> Shot in the head. Ribs? Who, me? Yeah, you're the bandana. Oh. I, I scratched something last night and started bleeding. Sorry. I was a little tight on that. I, I knew I was losing it. I was trying to get this arm loose to do a twister kind of position. But. Is it tight or you want to? Oh, sorry. How's it feel? It's all right. Okay. Yeah, I was a little concerned, but yeah, no, we're good. I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. you winning or me winning. I'm just being safe.
Oh, I want to roll a bike. You tell him I'm good. No, it's great. With her gauging. I'm paying safe. Like when I tuck my elbow in, I'm like, can I do this safely? You're not doing anything out of control. Just why I was not worried about it. I want to play with your feet just so you thought I would do something. I'm not going to do anything. <laughs> I know you know that I'm. Yeah. No, I think. Look, I. Right, understanding that your shoulders, you know, in one sense, if you go back to the analogy of we're both really high level dudes, yeah. neither of us is going to make a move until someone exposes something. So by you hiding an appendage, you're basically taking one more opportunity away from me. Well, the hole, and they slip south and you grab them in the elbows. I wasn't sure if I did that, so we talked about it last week. I was like, huh. I like that. So like, I don't know if I did it. You know how you make do something, you might do something you don't realize you do. Mm -hmm. But I like that. So I'm just wondering how to how to maintain it. Because I found if I tucked one elbow like I just did, I was like, okay, is this working? I think it's working. Uh -huh. So I don't know. So I was just kind of thinking, like, if you get here and you're trying to get my elbows and I'm staying tucked, what can you do? Could you go to one side and reposition your knees? Like if you took me this way and then drove your right knee up to my hip, the right knee up to my shoulder and put your foot on my hip and then adjust it from there to your right hip. Mm -hmm. And then now you've got this elbow exposed and now I'm actually not slinking down on my own accord. Mm -hmm. You've opened me up and that's what I was worried about. So I think I was here, somewhere in this variation. So I was worried that you might shift here to your left. Mm -hmm and then post your right foot on my hip and push me down, opening me up there. That's what I was worried about.
was good. Like, that was more than just that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You feel alright? No, I'm feeling fine. I just, yeah, it's I like, know that I lost the advantage once I tried to go turtle and you had two on one and hit control, even if you're on your side. My face was fine, but I couldn't maintain the two on one with that little almost S grip. How's the kids, John? Dude, they're good. They're good. And spring break? I want to get them in. I got to tell Tanner. Tanner thinks I want to do that 3 o'clock class. I'm like, dude, I have. I can't be. I don't have as much. Like, if, if a job calls, I'm going. You know, and, I normally would have volunteered for that. But. And, I, and I, like, I just need somebody that's going to be able to help make up a class for me. Yeah. You know? Because yeah, I feel bad if you put it on the calendar. Like, I might have a job that I'll be in Florida for a month. Yeah. Like, you know, it's probably a 50% chance I'll get it. And like, I don't want him to put put that on the calendar and then, you know. It's 8 o'clock. I put on two minute rounds, 15 second yeah. intervals. So if you want to just, we'll see how we go. You want to start with that or start with that? You decide. I don't really care. I'll figure it out. I'll maintain as far as my safety. I'll let you know.
<laughs> I was in the room with that shoulder control. <laughs> Hey, Good, man. How are you? Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you too. being cautious, but I'll go through mostly one hand playing, which you probably noticed. <laughs> I think you'll find a benefit. Well, yeah, to hiding that shoulder. I'm not worried about adapting my jiu-jitsu. It's more just getting through the next five months. Yeah. If I re-injure it, yeah. everybody tells me I'm going to be looking at six months recovery now. Yeah. But that, this is literally the first time I've rolled since before surgery. Good. So I think seven weeks. I got guys that can drive fucking hop right after. Well, well, it's been two years ago. The same rear current injury they destroyed it. You know, so. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. No, I feel I feel fine. I'm not wrapping up. I'm just taking a break. I'm just reading. What's your name, bud? I'm Jacob. Jacob. It's so nice to meet you. Yeah. yeah cheers. I joined you guys in the train. I live right across the street. My Epic. Epic. Then let the uh, knee injury heal up, but oh. I'm ready to go, man. So this is nice. I just wanted to pray something about schedule. We can, uh, um, yeah, probably online. So 